previously uh, a couple of weeks ago on on that boy's critic episode. Oh my God! Ah! 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 Ah
10 minutes long, the ending. And ends up with, uh, pretty much shaft, uh, pretty much shoot, and the other guy shooting the fuck out of these, uh, guys, pretty much. Um... Pretty sure that yeah, the film's a lot weird. This um, this film is so uh, weird. He ends up leaving it at the end. He just walks away from the crime scene, looking like he had nothing to do with it. Just trying because he's a cop, you see. So, um, this film was not very expensive. It sound quality was a little bad. I mean, I felt like also the rating that this film was given by the uh, British um. By the BBFC, um, the British film, on um, the British, what is it now, the Brit, the BB, British Board of, oh, that's it, British Board of Film Classification, um, came, um, Uh, right now, British Board of Film. Yeah, that's it. British Board of Film. Anyway, so this film wasn't bad. It's pretty good for a black exploitation film. Um, I've not really. I don't know much about black exploitation myself, but what I do know of, I could probably believe, was uh, real. I could believe it's possible at time. The film shows a bit of racism in some parts, like in one scene, Shaft was unable to, like this one guy refuses to let Shaft in a taxi, so he calls him a right. M sorry, <coughs> sorry, my voice is a little. Uh, feels like I've got like something in the back of my throat there. Sorry. The amazing world of puberty. <laughs> anyway, um, so. Like, he calls him a white mother, I guess he means motherfucker, but there was only a few swear words that gives away with this. I felt, anyway, like I was saying about the rating, I mean, there was a few scenes that could be titled as nudity, including one scene which they, I guess, they tried to get away with showing, uh, like, female breasts, but I just don't feel like they hit it as good. Um, so, yeah, because, like, so, it's, the, the acting's a little corny in some parts of this film, I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty, uh, dodgy film. Um, the film's become a cult classic, and, um, <coughs> the film itself is, has become much 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 more popular as uh time has gone um the film song is probably the most famous song of the black exploitation era right next to the dolomite song we'll look at dolomite in the future i swear to god let's go look at the shaft and i'm gonna look at the shaft sequel then we'll look at dolomite okay anyway so, I'm going to give this rating, uh, well, I have, uh, different ratings. Um, the, the, the top rating is this, uh, second top rating is this, the, uh, I think it's okay rating this, the I hated it rating is this, and the I fucking hate it so fucking much, you shameful piece of shit, is this. I'm going to give it a this. It's a good exploited. As far as exploitation goes, it's pretty good. So uh, I thought some scenes were actually kind of funny. Um, so it's like it, it, it's a you'd have to watch the film. Um, I would recommend it if you're a fan of black exploitation. But if you're a fan of black exploitation, you have probably heard of this film in the first place. So yeah, shift. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, and with the star stuff, mine's out of 10, so I'm gonna give it 7 stars out of 10, let's call it an even, let's call it fair, and now, yeah, acting thing, yeah, um, the acting's not bad, only from, 
I think the main character is Shaft is probably the best act. The guy who plays Shaft is probably the best uh, actor in this entire in the entire film. The uh, rest of the film's kind of the actors they don't they don't suck. They just feel like they were just people who lived there. It, it's like Fred. It feels like it was just the people who lived there. And possibly Child Bride, where they probably get some people who live there. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, it's a okay film, yeah. What do you think, uh, Retro? Great, now put on the sequel. Now, I don't have the sequel. Well, you better go find it then, aren't you? I don't like your attitude anymore, you fucking dick.